Oh, welcome to the vlog. This vlog. You know when other ones are chaotic, this one's kind of taken on a new level. This is Verona from the future here because I left my camera in an Uber last week when I was going to this Valentine's Day party and I just left it in the Uber and I can't get it back. So I'm currently on Angla's camera. Yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a vlog's worth. I'm just gonna throw it up, who cares? So I made this list of things that are going to happen in this vlog because it's all over the place. So in this vlog, you're going to join me as I prepare for the Valentine's Day event that I ran with Elliot. So we set up 30 blind dates. It was so fucking funny. Um, on like the balcony of Soho House. And then after that, it was like a big party and like loads of people came uh, like for a single mingle. So I'm just showing like the preparations for that. That was the night my camera um, died its death. And then I go and meet Alice and we go through the interview that I did for Elle because they sent me the transcript to, for me to look over. So she's like helping me look through it. Then the um, Elle shoot itself. And I have a little selfie haul just before that because I wore all second hand for the shoot. And the Elle shoot was so fun and the girls got to join in at one point which is so fun. Yesterday I just went shopping with Emil to get him a nice little Swedish Scandinavian outfit. Um, and any time I go shopping with him, he just, he literally buys whatever I tell him to because he has no opinion. So it's quite fun. And then today I'm doing like a, a vlog for the day. So those are all the things that are gonna happen in this vlog. So I just thought I should preface it because otherwise it's literally not going to make any sense. So enjoy. On my phone again. <laughs> the plan to vlog, really good footage. Didn't really happen this time. But I'm in um, the old town in Gomestown in Stockholm and I'm on errand duty. So the Valentine's event that I'm hosting with Elliot is tonight. So I've just sat in a cafe for like an hour just confirming that everybody's like coming because if someone doesn't turn up, then their date isn't going to have a date on Valentine's Day. So yeah, and then I've been like fixing the list for like the big party and whatever. I'm so excited, but it's been fucking stressful. Um, so now I am going to go to this like crazy decoration store. Oh, what am I doing? It's so icy. Um, in Sudamalm to find like, uh, I just want to find like love heart balloons and that kind of thing for the space. Um, so I'm going to go there now. I also had a doctor's appointment this morning. Sorry, I'm like terrified that ice is going to fall on my head. It's like my fear. This fucking city is so dangerous. Uh, I went to the doctors this morning because I've basically had thrush for like so long. So I finally got a doctor's appointment and he just gave me a prescription. Like, so I need to go collect that as well. Uh, just Valentine's Day things, you know, getting prepped. I have like a hundred quid to spend. So I'm thinking roses, balloons, confetti. Maybe that's it. It'd be kind of funny if I got like little fake penises. That'd be like too much. Also just thinking maybe some roses. Just like a classy little... Are they fake? Hmm, I'm gonna ask. Do you know how much these are? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm at the Valentine's event. I just left my camera in the taxi. What is wrong with me? So I've just like messaged the guy to see if he can send it back, but he hasn't responded. Anyway, this is my nice dress. All of the blind dates um, that we've set up are now up chatting to each other. Such a vibe, everybody's getting on so well. So I'm gonna take like, a little sneaky pic. Um, and a good few of them are our friends and then a couple are like people that we don't know. And then at eight, the party's gonna start and like loads more people are gonna come. Oh, my heart was like racing because I had to like speak in front of a lot of people. Oh, professional matchmaker. I'm such a fucking Libra, honestly. Okay, these are the vibes. Here's all our couples. Here's my co-host, Elliot, say hi. Hi. Here's the DJ, Philip, say hi. <laughs> but the vibes are insane. Okay, oh. me and Alice. <laughs> I've been, I've been sick for like 10 days. Alice so is not well. Don't, don't at all. 
So we're just chilling in this little cafe yeah. because I just got the piece that Elle have written about me to look over before they publish it. Yeah, and I started to cry. And Alice has already started crying, but it's in Swedish, so I'm going to get Alice to help me. And then the photo shoot is tomorrow. Okay, let's go. It's like she's going to be an L print. <laughs> I just died. I couldn't stop laughing when I saw the title. I'm a yes. <laughs> but I don't love I'm a yes. You are. Yeah, I am a yes. Okay. But it's okay, very like. Look. It is very. The Irish girl living in Stockholm had made a name for herself on the platforms with inspirational street style videos from cities like New York, Milan, London, Stockholm, and Copenhagen. Got home from meeting Alice, and I got this package from Selfie. So I wanted to get a few bits for the photo shoot tomorrow so that I can wear something a bit fun. So I'm gonna do a little unboxing. I just went to the gym after being with Alice and I was saying to O'Neill, he's on the couch reading my article. Um, it's so much nicer going to the gym during the day when nobody's there. Mmm, so exciting. Okay, this one's the one I'm most excited about. It's like a little Dolce & Gabbana situation. cute. Has little ties in the back. Oh, that's very cropped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is this belt. I have no idea if it's going to be nice or not. It's an article. This is Emile's feedback of my piece in L. Ooh, I got this jumpsuit. It's either gonna be so nice or absolutely rotten. Pink or rose? Yeah, right? It's giving dressing up as something that is like your profession. <laughs> it's giving grease lightning. Yeah. Ooh, these are the jeans. Daddy long legs. It's giving black jeans. It's giving black jeans. It's giving classic black jeans. It's giving jeans for wear. It's giving off white shirt with different colors such as blue, red, orange. It is giving used to be whiter. It's giving dad at his son's football game screaming too loud. Yeah. It's giving young, wild, and free. This one is gonna give something, something very specific. It's giving, it's giving drugs on a rock concert. It's giving narcotics. Narcotics. For sure, yeah. Which is an illegal substance that we do not engage in. It's giving like threesome. Threesome. On narcotics. On narcotics. Vibe. It's giving smaller and smaller pieces of clothes. <laughs> it's giving very teeny tiny amounts of fabric. It's giving even smaller. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm very tired. Also, I got a loaf of bread because who's a fat little bastard and likes eating all my food? This guy. For what? Not for the tree. I thought I'd put them in my room to just <laughs> give like party girl vibes. I saw these um, mini disco balls in the front of a store and I didn't really know how I could use them, but I've just figured it out. How fun. So I just have my little thing of sunglasses. Chuck in some little disco balls, right? It's kind of a vibe. And then I'm gonna put all these frames here. I need to do that this week. I just think it's giving girlhood. It's giving Sophia Coppola kind of party girl, Kate Mess energy. We have arrived and we have an issue. We have problem number one. Okay. Is that the makeup artist was booked for next Friday. Oh no. So I've okay. just been on the phone with Esteban. Okay. Oh my god, and it's coming. Or his friend. No. Or so, what he's doing 
is he has sent us on the way a bag this size of my makeup. This size. But also, and you're so good at makeup, so you can do it on it your is, own. Yeah, and also... And you prefer doing it on the your own. Yes, I have a lot of breakouts, so I was kind of looking forward to like, the makeup artist. Like, so yeah, like, but you can do that. You look amazing, oh, Rona. Oh, amazing oh, outfit. Oh my god. I love so both of the shoes. The back as well. <laughs> oh. Rona, it's, the whole outfit is incredible. Okay. Is it on loan or is it... No, oh. awesome, Seriously. I have those shoes, right? Those blue shoes. Everything is so nice. Verona, this, what the freak is I know, I I or that. Do you have to Hello, give it back? Hello, Miami. No. Miami. Miami. No, it's Miami. 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 But I didn't know. I had... I went to the room. I was like, oh, I was in the room. But that was so funny. What did you do this morning? Yes. It's heavy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, this is a full oh makeup. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay. Serumizer, god, skin kitchen, or should I be like, put, I can put it in order, like, what do you use first? <laughs> what she, she's she's look how she achieved, look, look. what she achieved yes. from the circumstances. <laughs> or do you actually say from the circumstances? But you, yeah. There's one word missing. From the circumstancing says. With, with, the, with, the, with circumstances. the circumstances. Yeah, with the. With the circumstances, she has look at what she has achieved. Yes. <laughs> Okay, taking a meal shopping is a vibe. That's a vibe. Do you actually like it or not? <laughs> Great. I was saying he looks very like Scandinavian fisherman cool vibes. You look like you're out for a coffee with your girlfriend in Stockholm on a Sunday. This will manifest my girlfriend into existence. Yeah, exactly. This is the outfit that's going to start it all. Please, my girlfriend, contact me. <laughs> I'm you waiting. You can't get a girlfriend if you don't dress like a boyfriend. True. I think they're lovely. 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 <laughs> I'm so tired. For real? Yeah. No, but they are objective. <laughs> They're objectively nice. Okay, this is the whole vibe. Looking good. Styled by Verona. So I accidentally took. English camera in my bag yesterday, but I've obviously lost mine, so this is kind of perfect. I just went shopping with Emil and he bought a lovely little outfit, an art kit, uh, and then we just had some coffee with Sophie and Lassa. I was supposed to go out tonight, but our friend Freddy um, was like, yeah, drinks are mine, but he hasn't told anybody any information about where the drinks are or what's actually happening, and I'm giving him like a cosy vibe, which isn't usually my kind of vibe, but... I just rang Sarah and Sarah's also like protecting her piece tonight. So, what should I do? I don't know. I was um, intending to go to the gym, hence the outfit. Um, but then I checked and the gym was closed at 6 and it was 5.30. Oh no, oh no. So I couldn't go, which is so sad. This week um, is supposed to be very free. However, the most exciting email last night from Saint Laurent saying that they wanted me to do street style at their show in Paris on Tuesday, sorry, Saturday. Um, the issue is I have an MRI for my hip at eight o'clock on Tuesday and their show in Paris is at eight o'clock on Tuesday. And so it's not 100% yet. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to Paris on Tuesday. Hopefully I am. Who knows what's gonna happen tonight? I don't know, part of me wants to go out, part of me wants to be a clean girl and protect my face and go against my nature. I'll probably end up out, I feel like I have a better time, but who knows. Yeah, good night. Good morning.
I did not go out last night and I feel so fresh. I feel so, I just want to be productive. Like there's so many things I want to do. So first I think I'm going to just clean the kitchen very quickly. Um, and then I actually have a list of tasks. Why don't I pull out my, my list of tasks? Um, I'm going to go for dinner at Alison Inga's parents' house this evening. I'm just going to be cosy. They often do like a Sunday dinner and it's incredibly cosy so I'll try to vlog that. I am going to drop the camera back to Angela so I might have to switch to my phone. But today I'm going to get all the clips from this camera, put it on my thingy. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to send off a package for Vintage. I need to do that. The skirt in there. Um, what else? I wanted to buy... I need to buy a candle for my room. Because I've run out of like nice smelling candles. And now I just have like the long ones. But I kind of think my room just smells like tan and sweat. So I would like to change that if possible. And I'm still waiting for a response from... YSL about the show on Tuesday um, so I just sent like a final email being like I'm down I just want to check that like these things are covered um, so hopefully they respond today I've also just been doing some laundry um, I fucked these jeans up I went on some type of night out I don't know if you can see they're fucked anyway um, oh my god, these trousers are so expensive. Look at the ends of them. <sighs> okay, lunch slash breakfast of champions. Two potato waffles. And two... Glanacilty sausages. My friend last saw me eating this breakfast once. He was honestly like, "From it, you eat like a freak." But um, it's kind of weird. Just meat and potatoes. What what superior combo is there? This is my little fit for the day. I'm going to the gym, so I don't know why I put this on. But I want to go to the shops first. Um, how fun is this top? I got it on Sapi. I don't know what brand it is. Um, and these are the jeans that I got on Sapi also from that brand Rode de I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like a Scandinavian brand. R-O-D-E-B-J-E-R. -E -E so onto my little consumeristic haul because I actually have some very nice things. Also this. So books first. This is the one I'm reading at the moment. Um, it's called Just Kids by Patti Smith. I actually haven't like Googled her or anything. I know Patty Smith is famous. I don't even know what she's famous for. But I don't want to Google it because I'm only halfway through and this is her memoir. Um, and at the moment she's like broke, in love, running around New York. Is she a singer? Is she a writer? I don't know. I've been tempted to Google her, but I'm going to hold off. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. I will say the language is very complex. Like... I don't know, it's just, it's very it's very artistic, the writing, which I'm still enjoying it, but it does kind of make it a little bit difficult because I find that I don't actually read it properly. I kind of skim over all of the like descriptive parts. This one I'm going to read next. It's called Brave New World. My friend Archie gave this to me and he is... Oh my God! <laughs> you remember that? But it's supposed to be like that book 1984, which I actually haven't read either. Um... And it's a look into the future. What's what this person thinks is going to happen? What's that called when it's um, dystopian? I think that's the vibes. I find very exciting, and I think everybody else is going to find it boring. However, I went to Arquette and bought socks. Um, so I only buy my socks at Arquette. I've really, like the last year, I've made a commitment to myself that I am only buying these socks because I keep losing socks, and if I just keep buying the same ones, then it makes it more likely that I'll have pairs. And they do really nice colours. And they do a deal where you get five for four. So I got two in light grey, two in navy, and one in dark grey. Buying new socks from Arquette is like, oh my god, it's like my crack. I fucking love it. Anyway, there's, those are all the bits. I feel like that was a quite a wholesome little haul. Oh. Did someone just come home? I'm like really excited for them to come home because I like cleaned the whole place. <laughs> Yeah, that validation kick, you know. I just changed outfits. How cute is this? Um, these 
Oh, I can't. Two of them. They're from Repetto. They're not comfortable at all. Well, no, they're not that bad, but they're not. They're not walking shoes. Like, and I have these little skinny jeans. I feel so cute. Just at my favorite cafe ever. I've been sitting here working and there was a lady sat beside me and she commented on my shoes and she was asking me where they were from and then we ended up talking for like an hour and she's just recently been divorced and she was talking about like searching for a new apartment and how she feels and um, we were talking a lot about like languages and oh my god it was, it was so interesting um, and then I just gave her two book recommendations and we were talking about the area it was so nice so lovely i never have that in stockholm where i just end up talking to a stranger okay wait sarah's here i'm gonna she's gonna give me a ride to uh okay she's there she's gonna give me a ride to angus princess for dinner oh, yesterday there was a mess oh my god did you go to spy bar in the end no we went to so first it was dinner or not drinks at philosophy plus and i was so i don't know i was yes, home were. that night but i was so hungover Oh, it's oh. <laughs> 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 I am on the way to Paris. So why is uh, it's later tonight? And now I'm actually going to stay for a full week. Um, I got invited to the Valentino show on Sunday and I'm gonna do a bit of like street style and some interviewing for them. Um yeah, I'm not gonna vlog Paris because I don't have a camera. But I will see you next time back in Stockholm because I just heard from a guy on Instagram that he found my camera in the snow. So he's gonna give it back to me when I get back.